Hello everyone. Let us see how we can match color in Photoshop and uh, we will be learning three different color matching techniques in Photoshop. So let us start. So the first thing we will do is we will see how to match a color using this match color adjustment. So the match color adjustment is inside this image menu and adjustments and match color. So we will use this match color to match the colors of two uh, different image files. So this is uh, an image of a ground. So I have uh, brought and uh, we will be using this another image of a person and we will try to composite both the images and we will also try to match the color. Right. So first I will be selecting this person. So we will use object selection tool. To select this person simply uh, we will uh, use the lasso option for object selection tool and we will draw a selection around this person so the lasso option is over here you can also use this rectangle option right so now we have selected this person uh, we can actually fine-tune the selection if you wish uh, just we have to improve it over here so we can use alt right so once the selection is completed we can use the move tool and we will drag this person into this document right so we can scale it down we can use a uh, center scale by holding alt and dragging the corner right so now we will try to match the color of this person okay uh, we will try to match the color so that both the images this person as well as the background looks like uh, they are part of a single image So, so what we are going to do is first we will give some name to our document. So we will just uh, simply uh, go to file and we will uh, use this save as option and we will save on our computer. We will just go to uh, the desktop and uh, we can give it a name uh, color match. Right. And then we will save it. So we have saved it. So it is very necessary to give a, a name to your document. So why we have to give the name you will just see a short link. So once we have given the name to our document. Now the next thing we will do is we will select the person's layer and we can properly name these layer layers person and we can say background right and we'll select the person's layer and then we'll go to image adjustments and we will select the option match color so this match color dialog opens and in the match color dialog we have a number of options here so what we'll do is we want to uh, match the color of this person to that of background so what we have to do is here we have to come to this bottom section so in the bottom section which is this image statistics section we have an option source so from source we have to first select the name of our document and here the name of our document is this color match dot psd right right the next thing we are supposed to do is so here we have an option called layer and uh, 
layer from layer we have to match the color of the background and we have to apply the color of the background to the person so here we have to select the background option see the moment you select the background uh, this uh, you can see some results here so automatically some uh, color match has taken place right so the next thing is so we have to come to this section image options section so in the image options section we have three options luminance color intensity and fade and we have also one more option which is neutralize so we will first click on this neutralize and we can see some change and uh, the what this neutralize will do is it will actually uh, just average the colors it will neutralize the uh, the changes that have already uh, applied to the image right then here we have an option fade so the if you increase the fade so the totally the color match effect will be gone so we have to uh, find somewhere in the middle we have to place it somewhere in the middle so that the color match effect is not too much at the same time the color match effect is not uh, uh, is going to disappear so somewhere in the middle we have to keep so if it is uh, zero uh, if the color match effect is too much actually so we have to keep it somewhere uh, in the middle right this much is okay 54 is enough and the color intensity will actually make the colors dark so if you try to increase the color intensity so uh, the color becomes too dark here so now the color is too dark and if you reduce the color intensity it will become a black and white something it will lose its color so we have to keep it somewhere in the middle and the last option is luminance luminance is uh, how much brightness the image is going to have so we can try to uh, increase or decrease the luminance actually so it's better to decrease decrease it because we don't want too much uh, uh, luminance brightness right um, okay somewhere over here right so we have done some color matching and uh, still uh, you can enhance it by using curves adjustments so simply select the curve and then uh, we can actually uh, try to uh, make it a little bit uh, dark actually by just creating a point at the middle which is a mid-tone point and simply dragging uh, dragging the point but the most important thing is this curves should affect only the person person layer so we have to make it into a clipping mask so we have an option over here uh, if you click on this option what will happen is whatever changes you do in curves adjustment it will affect only the person so we will just try slightly uh, reduce the coloring here right uh, reduce the brightness actually and also we can use a blue color here from this uh, uh, drop down and uh, see uh, we have to make it a little bit yellowish because the ground color is a bit yellowish so we can just move this uh, curve a little bit downwards see the opposite of blue is yellow so if you move it upwards it becomes totally bluish so if you move it downwards it will become yellowish so don't make it too yellowish just slightly yellow right so that his uh, uh, his coat color or his jacket color will be a slightly yellowish right so this is a quick way of doing a color match so now let us see the next method of color matching I have taken a same image uh, if you want you can take uh, some other image but it's okay we only need the procedure here right so what uh, I will be doing here is 
So I will be creating a curves adjustment layer. So simply uh, at the bottom of your layers panel, just click on this button and here we have an option curves. And the first important thing we'll do is, so we'll make it into a clipping mask because uh, it should only affect the person layer. So simply click on this option. So it will make it, make it into a clipping mask and whatever changes you do in the curves, it will affect only the person's layer, right? So the next thing we'll do is, see, we have to actually map the colors means we have to pick the colors in the background and we have to map them over this person. So how to pick the colors here? See here we have eyedroppers and each eyedropper represents a particular color here. So the first one is for shadows and the last one here is for highlights which is a white point. White point means highlights. The black point means shadows and uh, here the center one sample in image uh, and it is for uh, gray areas or the mid tones medium uh, tones here so the most important thing to remember is see the curves has one white thumbnail here and here the right side we have this curves option so you have to keep this one highlighted so this should be the active one so simply double click on this so in case uh, if this is not highlighted and the thumbnail is active, so you will not get the right uh, result. Okay. So the, now the next step we are supposed to do is uh, after creating a clipping mask and now we are uh, going to map the colors. So how we are going to map the colors? See, simply we will start with the white point. So just double click on it and then sorry this is a shadows or, or the dark areas. So we will pick a dark area in the background. So let us not pick a, a too dark okay or pure black colors. So we'll put, we will uh, find uh, uh, somewhere here. So here we have some shadows. So we'll pick it right we can see here and uh, here save the new target uh, colors as defaults we can just say yes right and then the next thing is uh, we will now pick the uh, bright areas of the background so simply double click on this sample white point and then uh, this is for highlights and we will pick the bright areas uh, here over the clouds we have some bright areas so let us not pick a two uh, bright, okay, two bright areas, two uh, colors that are too bright. Okay, somewhere here. So I think here, or uh, we can pick a bright spot over here also. So here also we have a bright spot. Right. Okay. So again, we'll just say yes. And now we will pick a gray area. So simply double click on this and the gray areas are somewhere over here. So we can uh, pick another spot here. Right. Yeah. This one is a gray area. Just click. Okay. Now we have picked all the three uh, colors actually. Uh, the bright colors, the dark colors and then the mid-tone colors. Now just we have to map them over this person. So it's very easy. Simply we will just select the shadow of eyedropper and then we will pick the dark color. See, the moment I pick the dark color, you can see some change. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll select the white point and we'll pick a, a brighter spot uh, I think somewhere over here so see we can see some changes and then 
So finally, we will pick a mid-tone. So simply select the middle eyedropper and uh, the medium colors are somewhere over here. Right. See, this is a very quick and easy way of color matching. Right. So the next thing we'll do is see uh, the image looks a little bit yellowish. So we'll apply one more curves adjustment layer. So just we'll apply one more curves adjustment layer and then we'll make it into a clipping mask. Right. So then we will try to reduce the yellows. So we'll select blues here. Blue option from the drop down list and we will try to uh, reduce the yellows by raising this curve see try to raise it only slightly don't raise it too much right so that's it and in case you want to make it a little bit dark so we can also make it a little bit dark by creating a point over this curve in the midtown region in the midtone region and then just slightly uh, drop it don't try to pull it too much right just slightly right so now we have perfectly matched the color of background over this person so this is the second way of matching colors right now we will see the one last and final uh, method of matching colors of two images so the last method of matching color is again we will be using the curves adjustment layer. So simply I will open the curves adjustment layer. I will apply the curves adjustment layer from this layers panel. Right. Make sure that the layer thumbnail for this curves adjustment is highlighted and then we will just uh, select this curves dialog and uh, what we'll do is here we have an option auto so uh, we will hold alt and click on this auto option so what will happen is a new dialog will open uh, this is auto color correction options so but one thing we have to uh, do is that is uh, we have to make it into a clipping mask because we want this curves to apply only to this person so we have to click on this button so what will be, what it will do it will only affect the person's layer so now we will just hold alt and click on this auto button so that this auto color correction options dialog will open so from here what we will do is uh, we will just uh, click on this find dark and light colors see the moment I selected it you can see some changes here and then we will just click on this snap neutral midtones and uh, the next thing we'll do is we have to uh, tell Photoshop uh, the colors that we are going to pick from the background so the shadows the midtones the highlights just like before we have selected the shadows midtones in highlights now also we have to select the same things but here uh, how we are going to select so here we have to come to this section target colors and clipping and from here we have to first pick the shadows just click on this color box for shadows and then uh, we will pick uh, the shadows so over here so we'll just pick these shadows right and then we will next pick the midtones so the midtones are somewhere over here so I think so the midtones are over here right and then we'll pick the highlights so the highlights are uh, let us not pick uh, highlights uh, from the clouds because the clouds are too bluish in color so we can uh, find a brightest area uh, over here somewhere but uh, it should not be too bright so I think so we have some bright areas over here 
right just we have to do some uh, trial and error here so we can uh, we have just uh, we'll just cancel it we'll just click here and then uh, I think we have to find uh, a bright spot over here okay we can find a bright spot over here right so now it looks a little bit uh, yellowish in color so we can uh, actually uh, try to uh, pick some uh, different colors if you wish so in case you think it's too yellowish right right so once uh, we have all these uh, things so now the next step we are supposed to do is we will actually reduce the amount of uh, yellow color on this image so we will just apply one one more curves adjustment layer and then we will make it into a clipping mask and then we will select the blues just like before we will select the blues and we will try to raise the percentage of blue color and we will also do one thing we will select the RGB here we will also try to uh, reduce the brightness here so something like this but it should be a uh, little it should not be too dark right so uh, this actually this method even though it looks uh, a little bit different compared to the uh, first two methods we can use this one to match the colors uh, and uh, in case you think that it is too dark uh, we can try to increase the brightness actually so just simply uh, we can try to increase the brightness right but uh, make sure that uh, it's not too much and we can actually also try to control the highlights here see we can just pull it downwards but don't make it look uh, artificial here so we can also just uh, try to move the shadows here see here for the curves right and we'll try to increase the bluish coloring right As a little bit not uh, excess right and uh, what we can do is uh, we can actually apply a brightness contrast option and uh, we can actually uh, try to reduce or increase the brightness and also we'll do the same thing we'll make it into a clipping mask so that if it affects only the person's layer so we'll try to increase the contrast here right and we will just try to uh, slightly uh, increase the brightness keep it uh, somewhere over here right So, this is a quick and easy way of color matching. These are the three methods of matching colors. So, you can find out which one is the best one to match color. So, we can use all the three, one, three uh, methods uh, and also it depends on the kind of image uh, that we are trying to do color matching. So, I hope you like this tutorial. So, please do subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. And if you have anything to say, please do comment, like and share. See you again.